Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today I'm going to show you all how to detail the aircraft carrier. Now, um, obviously this is a huge build and uh, I decided to do it beforehand so you guys wouldn't have to watch me doing it all. And so I will just be going over what I put in each room and why and I've got some sort of extra options that you can add as well if you want. So generally with an aircraft carrier, the whole point of it is to carry aircraft so you can sail out into the ocean and still launch your aircraft. So a large part of this is going to be the runway. And you know, thankfully you don't actually have to put much for the runway. It's already got these nice lights here and they actually do kind of glow and I think they do actually create light. So that's pretty nice. And you know, there's only a few things we actually need to add. So one of the main things that we should add is some sort of uh, radar. This is radar number two. Um, you could potentially add radar number three, but it's a lot larger. So whatever fits for your build, you could also scale radar number three to make it fit. So, you know, really whatever works. Um, also, something that would be good is a helipad. Um, it's always a good idea to have a helipad on an aircraft carrier just in case maybe you can't launch your aircraft. Who knows? And also for the helicra helipad, we also have a fuel tank to fuel the helicopters. Um, besides that, we've got some HESCO up here. Uh, this is just good uh, barriers, and just in case you go into battle. It's good bullet you know, absorption and blocks for people to hide behind, and it sort of just fills up the space nicely. And I left some gaps in there, you know, just because why not? It makes it look kind of cool. Also, I've got some boxes up here, or crates, crate number one actually. Um, you can put crate number one and number four up here easily and you could fill up this area a lot more I just put a little pile um, just to show you guys what it could look like you could also stack them on top of each other just to make them a little taller and you know you could fill this area a lot more with that sort of stuff now of course I've got a plane so I've got I'm using plane number two and actually normally this plane is a lot larger I'm gonna show you guys in comparison how much larger so I actually have plane number Four or number two right here as you guys can see the normal is a lot larger than the actual one I'm using so I actually use the scale tool to make sure it fit on this up and down ramp now this is really important because the up and down ramp is actually how the planes get from inside the hold of the ship to onto the surface so they need to make sure you need to make sure that they fit on this ramp now uh, also plane number one and I think plane number three uh, no, not number three, number four maybe? Nope, number five. Yeah, number five. Uh, number one and number five will for sure fit. Um, number one uh, is a little better just because it doesn't have water skis and it seems like it would be more likely to actually be on an aircraft carrier. So whatever works, you can use a scaled version of number two or of any of the other planes really, and you can also use plane number one. Okay, so let's move to inside the hold. The outside is pretty simple. Actually, before we move down, uh, just so you know, there's a Liberator text here. It's actually called Liberator Weak. There's a second version called Liberator Strong. It just sort of represents uh, how strong the letters are. And since this one is weak, the other one is sort of glowy, I put some light. So light number four, and, you know, just to light it up a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And, you know, it adds a little more depth with that special lighting there as well. All right, so let's move into the hold, which is actually the largest part of the ship. So this is the main hold uh, room, and there's a lot of stuff in here. And generally, if you're going to be detailing this, try to have a lot of stuff in here because it is really large, and having a blank is not going to look very good. So um, let's start with some of the areas with the planes. There's not much room actually to fit planes in here, but this area is probably the best. So you could fit up to maybe two if you have one right here and right here. Uh, you could fit up to two planes in here, and that would actually be okay. The nice thing about these planes is they're tall enough so you can just run under them, under the main wings anyway, and so it'll give you know a, a cool atmosphere to this part of the building. Um, also, we've got a fuel tank here. Definitely have a fuel tank somewhere down in this hold because the planes will need to be refueled. That only makes sense. So also, I've got a control number one. Uh, this you know looks pretty good because uh, it sort of represents the controls that you would use to actually move these lifts up and down. Um, I would suggest having some maybe control number one in some uh, some spot, either in the middle or on the sides. Any way would work. All right. So for the rest of the decoration inside the hold, we pretty much just have a lot of random miscellaneous sort of items. Uh, we got crate number one, as I mentioned before. We got coil. We've got all types of barrels one, two, and three. We even have a container in here. 
Now, uh, containers 1, 2, and 3 actually open up, so if you want to have yours open up, definitely do that. Uh, if you want to have them be solid, do use container 4, 5, and 6. And those are our different colors. Uh, we got the three colors as usual out here as well. So yeah, we could even fit a container in here, and this is a good way to fill up the space. We also have a dumpster with some garbage inside. Um, in the actual aircraft carrier, I think in the Russia map, it actually has a dumpster in here. So it's sort of out of place, but it's a good way to fill up the space, and so that definitely works. We also have pallet wood, um, that definitely fits, and we have a boat number one. Now this is actually kind of important, I definitely would include that. It only makes sense to have one of these inside your aircraft carrier, because of course, if it sinks, they'll need an escape boat. So if you can fit more than one in this space, definitely go for that. But if you need to fill it with other stuff, that's okay as well. But I would definitely try to have at least one boat in there. Now, there is an alternative to boat number one. You can have boat number four. This is the only other one that fit uh, sort of a motorboat. It kind of depends on how technologically advanced your aircraft carrier is. Obviously, having one in the first place is pretty advanced, but you know, you may just use a rowboat or you may just use a motorboat. Either way works, and it really depends on the style of your map. All right, so besides this uh, sort of main area here, there are a lot of small rooms inside this boat. And so I will be going over, and I actually detailed all of them, so I will be going over all of them. And some of the roles in each of these rooms can be sort of flip-flopped and used in other rooms. So feel free to mix them up if you want. Now this room, we're going to start here. This room is only used for a jail. Uh, these bars are permanent here, and there's nothing I can do about them. And this is actually a really weird room. Uh, it's really skinny in here, so I would suggest putting some sort of bed or cot. I used bed number four empty. If you search up bed, you'll find all the options. Now, as you guys see, I do have two NPCs in here. Um, as you detail your entire boat, I would suggest maybe putting NPCs throughout your boat. Just a warning, uh, maybe try to create the NPCs yourself. I will be doing that video soon because the NPCs that are by default here will have text and stuff relating to the Russia storyline and quests and stuff like that. So just a warning, if you use the ones that are pre-made, you may be getting nonsensical uh, speech out of these guys. So I just use these two just because they're sitting on the edge of the bed and they're playing chess or something, and that looked kind of nice. I also had a side table here, and this is scaled down just to fit the space a little better as well. And of course, you guys can put some stuff on the side table, like maybe a lamp or a book. I didn't want to put a lamp in here, though, because it could be used as a weapon, maybe, if these prisoners wanted to escape. And of course, we needed to have a chair for the watch guard, who would obviously be sitting here, and I left him a book so that he could read it you know, as he's watching the prisoners. So that's pretty much it for this room. Um, one more thing to comment about this room, how the heck do they get the prisoners in and out? There is no way in and out of this jail cell. So I'm not sure what Nelson was thinking when he made this, but there is no way in and out of the jail cell. If you're in, you're in. You're kind of stuck. So anyway, let's move on to this other large area. So in this other large area, we obviously have uh, large dining tables. These are scaled table wood number one. As you can see, the table legs are a little funky just because I scaled them, but you're not really going to be able to avoid that. Um, I've got a bunch of chairs around them as well. This is a good way to fill up the space and keep it, you know, sort of cluttered but looking nice at the same time. I also have some crate number fours in here. You could put other types of crates or maybe barrels even. Really, any of the stuff out here in this main ha hangar or uh, bay area, you could put in any of the other rooms. So, you know, I had some extra space. I put some crates in there, and it works pretty well. Um, speaking of moving on to next rooms, let's let's talk about this aircraft carrier door. So this is actually a scaled version of the aircraft carrier door. So the door itself is actually a little smaller. Uh, it's about this large, and it actually it's kind of weird. The door center is actually in the middle, so it's kind of hard to place. You got to move it around. And what I actually did for these two is scaled them. Now you know scaling them is going to be up to you. I had to do it customly, and it took a little while. But uh, definitely do that if you want to have a door in that space. Now you don't have to scale it because this door does actually fit on these normal door frames here. So the smaller doors that lead from room to room inside do fit these doors. So if you want to block off an area and not use a few rooms, you can do this and this is going to work fine. Or you can have them at an angle like I did this one, sort of like the doors halfway open. Alright, so in this room, uh, it's pretty much a hangout room. We have some more lights here. I would definitely suggest adding lights in some rooms. It adds a nice touch and it gives itself some you know, self-made light and it's pretty nice. We also have pool tables, 
uh, a television and couch number one. You guys can experiment with couch number two, different types of televisions. You can even put a table in here and have the old fashioned type of television. It all works. I'm just trying to fill the space here as well. All right, here's another useful room. We actually have a sort of kitchenette sort of area. Now you could make this entire room a kitchen. I didn't feel like making that many counters. But either way, we have a kitchen. We have a place for the crew to actually make food. And I definitely would include include some sort of kitchen inside of your aircraft carrier. It's going to be weird without one because they, they need to eat. So, you know, this is a good way to add some more space. And, of course, some of the items I used was counter three, four. I used fridge and oven. There's another type of fridge as well. And I had uh, table wood number two, chair wood number one, and a newspaper on the table just to add some little extra de decoration. All right, so let's move into this these rooms over here. So I've got a computer lab over here. This is a decent sort of idea for a room because obviously there's got to be some sort of research area being done on an aircraft carrier. It's more than just planes and everything like that. There's some tactics that have to go on. So I'm using um, table metal one, chair metal one, and computer parts uh, here to make this setup. I also have a telephone over here that's always sort of a good idea to have inside an aircraft carrier that's the main way that they communicate uh, between different floors and different buildings and I'll have maybe one or two phones in other buildings throughout as well I also have a clock uh, don't forget to put these around those are always nice touches as well now these hallways these could be pretty bare and without these shelves here shelf number three they would be pretty bare so if you guys are having trouble you know figuring out what to put in these uh, areas here and these hallways definitely maybe try putting a shelf number three they fit about anywhere that you have long drawn out hallways and you can put all sorts of interesting item spawns in them now of course you could put books on these shelves but if you put like item spawns like metal scraps guns cloth bandages anything like that would fit here all right so let's move on to some of the bedding areas i actually have two rooms dedicated to sleeping and they are uh, different layouts this one has three beds and two wardrobes this one actually is more space efficient and has four beds and two wardrobes only one lamp though so it really depends on what you want for this space you can arrange it however you want just make sure you leave enough room between beds and all the furniture and stuff and you know that's another good way of filling up some space as well and of course you do need beds inside an aircraft carrier now this door right here uh, leads to this outside railing you don't really need much decoration here I did have the door closed so that you know you will have to go out through a different area uh, of course what doors you want to close and leave open is up to you and of course the end of this uh, runway is actually not you know detailed with anything uh, you can pretty much leave this plane and leave it as it is uh, people might actually use this with a plane vehicle so if you guys want to put like a plane vehicle spawn in this uh, aircraft carrier I would definitely try that this is enough room to actually take off so you could do that alright so let's move into the last part of the building uh, the, the command tower now I didn't really do much with these stairways uh, one thing you could do is maybe put some shelves or some counters um, they're kinda awkward and I'm not really sure what to do with them they're not terrible blank actually and if you put some zombie spawns it'll keep it interesting enough as players move through them now as we get up to here to the ground floor kind of we get into a larger area in here I did start putting counter number threes uh, even though these are repeating and they look kind of repetitive with the doors open uh, if you maybe you put like a telephone or a radio on there occasionally it'll look alright when they're all closed and of course you guys can put item spawns in and around these areas so it actually makes it useful for players to search these and actually use this part of the ship now we also have wardrobe number three here this is a t typically a gun cabinet um, I would definitely suggest having a few of these in your building somewhere and having gun spawns inside these because even though an aircraft carrier isn't directly fighting you know man to man uh, it is good to have some sort of firearm on your your uh, ship anyway alright so now we start getting into the interesting part of the tower here we got the smaller room pretty much exact same setup as below it looks pretty good and you know fills up the space well but we also have a small room here now there's a couple things I could have done here I could have made a captain's bedroom um, what I did instead is made a captain's study or you know uh, I guess office or something and I used files number one files number two would have worked as well and I just had a shelf and a simple uh, table chair and laptop computer 3 actually set up here and I had another clock there just to make it a little more interesting 
All right, so now we get into some of the control area, and this is actually a really cool area of the ship. It's uh, pretty detailed, and you know, we get a lot of cool stuff up here. Now I've got, um, let's start within the front, because this was actually kind of hard to arrange. So in the front, I decided to use controls, and these are going to look really good on your ship. I also used counter number three because they look really official, and they look pretty nice as well. So as I was building this, I decided to sort of focus things on the center in this area. Everything is sort of symmetrical across the center, and I did that on purpose. You guys can do whatever you want with this uh, alignment, or you could copy what I have here. It looks pretty nice, as you guys can see. So I've just got control number two, number four, number five. There are lots of controls you can use, so pick and choose what you want. I also have counter number three, and I've got another phone here, and I've got a radio. Now, it is pretty important to have a radio inside your control room. It's just really realistic. Uh, they need to know what's happening on the news as well. So this looks pretty good and I've got actually a second row here and the back side of this one has control 3 and control 6. Now something you may notice is these are two different objects here. Now what I actually did is I held uh, control for snap transform and I actually held snap transform and reverse this and my snap transform is at 0.5 so if you guys want to reverse these sort of things you can do that and you know it keeps it from being too repetitive of having two of the same type right next to each other um, in terms of wow that was a little too fast uh, in terms of the rest of the area here I just have a few more counters and of course I would put item spawns inside those now the back end of this area was a little open until I put these computer stations here uh, pretty much whatever you do back here is up to you but I would leave this as sort of the main control area here alright so there's not much left there's like this one other room to the entire aircraft carrier and all I did in here was put counters you could make this a little more interesting maybe table chairs something like that but there is a lot of small walking areas in here so if you put some zombies maybe a few NPCs up here you're definitely gonna keep it interesting and the last thing I did out here was put a table and chairs just as sort of maybe like a chill card playing area that's overlooking the ocean. Now, of course, as you guys see, some of the larger objects here, we've got a radar number four. There is another radar you could use, radar number one, and I would definitely would have one of those two on top of the roof here. You could even have more than one. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this aircraft carrier. Um, you know, there's not much left to the aircraft carrier. It's going to be a little challenging when you guys do this to make sure you fill up the rooms underneath here. But as long as you fill them up nicely and you get some variety, you're going to end up with a pretty good looking build. Also, guys, just in case you were wondering what was up with this back end of the aircraft carrier, I actually was because I haven't seen it in map. This is actually meant to be partially underwater. And so this is sort of a boat ramping area. You could have the water up a little higher even. And this just makes it easy to launch your support or life raft or whatever. So definitely uh, make sure you place this into the water a bit so you can take advantage of that. Otherwise, it looks kind of weird. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. And please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.